Welcome to the vibrant world of hip-hop in the concrete jungle of New York City. In this exciting journey, we'll delve into the rich tapestry of hip-hop culture, exploring the dynamic and influential monuments and murals that dot the city's landscape. From the birthplace of this global movement in the Bronx to iconic locations throughout the five boroughs, we'll uncover the stories behind the larger-than-life tributes that honor hip-hop's legends and milestones. Get ready to be inspired as we showcase the vibrant hip-hop monuments and murals that make NYC a living testament to the power and resilience of this transformative art form. Vicky Smalls Monument Though Brooklyn-born rapper Vicky Smalls isn't from Dumbo, his likeness hangs out in the neighborhood in the form of a nine-foot-tall sculpture erected near the infamous Brooklyn Bridge in celebration of hip-hop's 50th anniversary. Created by artist Sherwin Banfield, who is also the artist behind LL Cool J's statue in Queens, the sculpture titled Sky's the Limit in the County of Kings is a stunning tribute to Biggie's impact on hip-hop culture and his love for his hometown. The reflective stainless steel and bronze structure stands tall on the corner of Prospect and Washington Streets and plays Biggie classics powered by solar energy. With a crown on his head and his signature Kooji sweater, the notorious B.I.G. watches over the borough where he was born and spread love. It's the Brooklyn way. Adam Yuck Park Adam Yuck Park in Brooklyn Heights is a tribute to the life and legacy of the influential musician, filmmaker, and activist, MCA, from the iconic hip-hop group The Beastie Boys. Yelk grew up playing in this exact playground before he found fame with Mike D and Ad Rock in 1986 with the biggest selling rap album of the decade. License to Ill was the first rap album to reach number one on the Billboard chart. His fight for the right to party later turned into a fight for Tibet and for those less fortunate through his activism. Though the Brooklyn rapper passed away from cancer in 2012, the city never forgets and renamed Palmetto Playground in his honor. Today, Adam Yelk Park, located on State Street in Brooklyn, is a perfect place to make some noise. Wu-Tang Clan District In May 2019, Staten Island's Park Hill neighborhood served as the formative backdrop for the legendary Wu-Tang Clan, leading to an intersection named in their honor. The corner of Vanderbilt Avenue and Tarshi Street in Staten Island was officially renamed in honor of the Wu-Tang Clan. Emerging in 1993 amid rampant gun violence and drug abuse, the nine-membered group authentically conveyed their struggle for survival and escape from crime through their lyrics. From selling albums out of car trunks to filming music videos at local stores, their connection to the community runs deep. The district renaming serves as a tribute to the rap group's global influence and their roots in Staten Island, affectionately referred to as Shaolin. On that note, let's switch our attention to the vibrant and dynamic world of hip-hop murals. First on the list is none other than a Wu-Tang alum, ODB. Wu-Tang Clan may be synonymous with Staten Island, but hip-hop fans know that not all of them were from Shaolin. Some of the clan was actually from Brooklyn. Old Dirty Bastard was one of them, born and raised in the Fort Greene section of the borough. So it's not really a surprise to see a mural in BK dedicated to the late Dirt McGirt. It features the rapper's welfare card, which served as the cover for his first solo album, Return to the 36 Chambers, the dirty version. ODB was a founding member of the Wu-Tang Clan and brought humor and fun to their music with an offbeat and chaotic style that was authentic and true to life. Tourists from all over the world flocked to the mural on the side of Organics Deli at 448 Franklin Avenue to snap pics and pay homage to the Wu-Tang Clan member who was for the children. The Locks Jada Kiss, Styles P, and Sheik Luch, collectively known as The Locks, are revered names in the hip-hop world and their contributions to the genre are being celebrated with a new mural in the Bronx. At a lose, the artist is marking 50 years of hip-hop by creating murals across New York throughout 2023, and the trio's mural is one of the first to be unveiled. The locks hail from Yonkers, also home to queen of hip-hop soul, Mary J. Blige. Legend has it that she gave the group's tape to bad boy CEO Sean Puffy Combs, and the locks have been reppin' the mighty D-block ever since. Add Juices for Life, a juice bar founded by Jada and Styles P and Kiss Cafe, a coffee bar founded by Jada Kiss and his family, and you can clearly recognize how hip-hop has evolved in 50 years. Money, power and respect indeed. 
DMX. We cannot mention Yonkers without mentioning the hip-hop force that could never be reckoned with, DMX. The larger-than-life rapper has been given an even larger tribute with a massive mural created by artist Floyd Simmons. The 35 by 22 feet mural features a striking portrait of the rapper along with lyrics from some of his most iconic songs. It's located on School Street near the Calcanio Homes housing projects where DMX once lived. It was here that the iconic rapper lived a life of grit and grime that only he could relay in rhythm and rhyme, with heart and hope, vitriol and violence, all wrapped up in a prayer. His talent alone saved Def Jam, his stage presence, unmatched to this day, and his contribution to hip-hop will always be what legends are made of, and a rough rider to the very end. Now's a good time to throw your hands in the air and wave them like you just don't care. And while you're at it, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to our channel for more of our dedication to the 50th anniversary of hip-hop. Now, on to a poet from the South Bronx. KRS One. KRS One, the legendary rapper and self-proclaimed philosopher, is a true purveyor of hip-hop culture. As one-third of the group BDP, he gave new meaning to beef when he and his group went up against another rap collective known as the Juice Crew. Classics like My Philosophy, South Bronx, and Poetry established BDP as a powerhouse in rap music and KRS-One as a brilliant lyricist who could effortlessly blend rap, activism, and black pride like a spicy gumbo. New York City agrees and has bestowed the teacher with the ultimate honor, a mural of himself in New York's Lower East Side where he grew up. Created by Italian artist Jorit, the mural was erected to celebrate 50 years of hip-hop and particularly special as the rapper mentioned how he may have slept in that exact spot during a period when he was homeless. Today, we pay tribute to a hip-hop pioneer. KRS-One, knowledge reigns supreme over nearly everything. Pop Smoke If you stroll down Flatlands Avenue at East 82nd Street, you'll see a towering mural that's got Canarsie in a chokehold with pride. It's a larger-than-life tribute to the late rapper Pop Smoke, who burst onto the scene in 2019 with hits like Welcome to the Party and Dior. But this mural isn't your run-of-the-mill street art. It's a masterpiece crafted by the talented folks at Haddis Public Murals as a tribute to the rapper who helped put Brooklyn drill rap on the map. His gravelly vocals over haunting drill beats mixed with the swag Brooklyn is famous for made Pop Smoke a superstar who continues to inspire and captivate fans from his hometown to all corners of the globe. This mural is one for the hip-hop history books and worth the visit. Run DMC New York City's East Village got a major upgrade in 2018 when Eduardo Cobra, a Brazilian artist, revealed his latest mural honoring the legendary hip-hop group Run DMC. The artwork is a fitting tribute to the trio from Hollis, Queens, who took a rock and roll classic and walked their way into the mainstream. Not to mention they were the first rap group to acquire sponsorship with a global brand, Adidas. That started a trend blend of hip-hop and fashion that resonates even today. Towering over the corner of 12th and Avenue A, the larger-than-life mural features the group in Cobra's signature colors with a street sign cleverly referencing their hit collaboration with Aerosmith. Definitely a must-see for any music lover visiting New York in 2023. Biggie Smalls This year, Brooklyn is honoring the notorious Big again with more dope art. The County of Kings has more murals of Biggie than 838s and 99s, and the latest one is Pure Fire. Artist John Sears created a colorful glass portrait of Brooklyn's finest at the intersection of Fulton and St. James Place, also known as Christopher Wallace Way. This is the latest of many works including the King of NY mural on Bedford Avenue and many murals in Clinton Hill where the young rapper grew up. In addition, there's Christopher Biggie Wallace Courts at the Crispus Attics Playground and a few murals at the Bushwick Collective on Troutman and St. Nicholas Avenue. Though it may seem like Brooklyn is Biggie's personal art exhibit, it's more of an homage to one of the best. A Tribe Called Quest Queens, New York is not just a borough. It's a hip-hop hotspot and home to another rap trio known as a tribe called Quest. Back in the day, the Boulevard of Linden became famous initially for its appearance in the video of the group's hit, Check the Rhyme. 
Now, it's infamous for its tribute to one of the most revolutionary rap groups of all time with a mural by artist Vincent Ballantine. Q-Tip, Fife Dog, Jerobi White, and Brooklyn's Ali Shaheed Mohammed created a new sound that blended jazz, funk, and Afrocentric lyrics that fans still revere to this day. Six classic albums later, a tribe called Quest has become one of the most beloved groups in hip-hop, forever on the boulevard of Linden and 192nd Street. The mural is a fitting tribute to a group that changed the game and a must-see for any hip-hop fan visiting New York in 2023. Big L It's hard to name another MC with a shorter career but such a huge impact to the culture as Big L. The Harlem-born rapper was making huge waves in the underground music scene before he dropped the classic lifestyles of the poor and dangerous. He was gunned down shortly after on the very block he rapped about. Today, he is immortalized at that very corner, renamed Lamont Big L. Coleman Way. His mural is also there, ensuring that Harlem remembers his name and never forgets his contribution to hip-hop. Big Pun It all started when Fat Joe invited Big Pun to feature on his second album, Jealous One's Envy. From there, the twins, as they called themselves, became inseparable creating several hit collaborations that propelled Big Pun to legendary status. The Puerto Rican rapper's pride in his heritage made him an icon in his community, and his debut album Capital Punishment snagged a Grammy nomination and made him the first Latino rapper to go platinum. His career may have been short-lived, but the Bronx is more than proud of Big Pun's legacy and the mural on Rogers Place is a testament of Bronx pride for Puerto Ricans and hip-hop. Well, that's a wrap. Now, it's your turn to weigh in. Which hip-hop mural was your favorite? Who's your favorite rap pioneer and who got next? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. We'd like to know your prediction for the next 50 years. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel so you can keep up with how we put on for our city in honor of hip-hop's 50th anniversary. Until then, we're out. Peace.